Well, truly, the solution to uh, lower abdominal uh, distension, constipation, and the and the um, <laughs> and its congruent um, back pain, lower back pain, is simply keeping um, the bedroom uh, warm enough at night, to, or keeping the living space warm enough so that the back muscles relax and along with that the colon relaxes as well um, it has to be uh, warm enough to be comfortable just shy of sweating temperature um, when naked for me because I have such a disposition my vata dosha is uh, so uh, prominent as to make me very sensitive to air temperatures such that it's not good enough for me to just wear lots of clothing I'll still get tensed muscles and the only way around it is because I'm, a, I'm attuned to breath more than anything and it's probably due to the fast I did as a teenager for two years on fruits and vegetables. In fact I was so sensitive that shortly after that fast it didn't matter what the temperature was inside the house. The temperature outside was the temperature that registered in my thermostat inside my brain. I was connected to the air, the general pervasive temperature outside the home, um, not the temperature inside the home that my body was in. So my mind was elsewhere. <laughs> and it made it kind of uncomfortable for me to be indoors, even though I wanted to be indoors. Well, now my problem is breath. It's not so much merely that I'm aware of what's going on outside, because it is cold outside. It is, you know, it's winter, or practically winter. Um, but it's a problem that it's not enough to simply put on clothing because I'll still have problems. So I have to bring the air temperature up to the point that I can be comfortably naked and even sleep naked without any sheets or uh, covers. And when it's that correct temperature, not too much, not too less, you know, I shouldn't feel chilled, but I shouldn't be sweating either. <clears throat> then um, my back muscles relax and my colon relaxes and I can go to the toilet and relieve myself and it's pretty cool so maybe electrostatics apply to the body mild grade um, you know 10,000 volts or so I found a second source of do-it-yourself I'm gonna read up on it uh, so I'm gonna read I redid my video to accommodate that but maybe that would be a more long-term uh, protocol f uh, treatment for the body to make some more long-standing changes to the lower dis uh, abdominal distension um, and subsequent uh, lower back pain but and the constipation that goes with it but for immediate relief just raising the temperature is pretty simple and straightforward and one other thing um, I put a layer a few inch layer of water in my bathtub so now when that evaporates, that produces humidity, it raises the hu humidity level, because the air is very dry here, and that helps a lot. That helps a tremendous amount. Um, convey that heat through the lungs, to the bloodstream, and to the physiology, and to my skin too, I suppose. Yeah, to my skin as well as my lungs. Because the skin, you know, for nudists, we, we understand that s stale air occurs between the skin and the clothing, and the, air, and the skin has to breathe. So nudity is, is not just for, you know, what people like to think, you know, something vain. It's actually for the health of the skin, so the skin can breathe fresh air. The skin does breathe, you know, <laughs> in its own way. Um, and it's something that nudists take for granted, and the rest of uh, everybody else who's prude, or who are prudes also take for granted the stale air that is against their skin. So it's it's very odd. I'm very air oriented since that fast. I'm not a sunbather. I don't particularly like the sun. Uh, warmth is good, but uh, excess of UV exposure in the course of trying to expose the body to warmth is the wrong way to go about it. You just raise the thermostat, you know, and stay indoors. And this way, I don't have to worry about argyria because I do consume and absorb a lot of silver into my body.
Anywho, so I thought, this, so there's a long-term treatment protocol of electrostatics, and it's just a speculation. I don't know if it works, but it's, I think it's worth trying if it's mild, 10,000 volts. And, and then there's the short-term immediate uh, thing. It's just raise the thermostat and be warm. So there you go.